Some 6th and 7th graders at a local middle school are using their STEM know-how to make a big difference. They're creating prosthetics for Ember, a dog who can't walk after spinal surgery. That's right. This morning we are heading into the classroom to see them in action. Fox Falls Bonnie Silkman is there live at Valley Catholic Middle School in Beaverton with the students behind this amazing work. Last time we saw you, Bonnie, they were finishing up the final exam, and it looks like they're all finished now, right? They're all done, yes, and there's a lot of excitement, too. The final wrapped, uh, so mission complete for these 6th and 7th graders. So they're moving on to their next period, uh, but we can see some of the prototypes. Here's one right here. So basically, these students were challenged to design and build a prosthetic device for Ember, the dog, who is paralyzed from the waist down after a spinal injury. Uh, they used recycled materials, so you can see popsicle sticks, straws, and cups, and their goal was to build a sturdy enough device that can... Uh, pull a stuffed animal, representing the dog, of course, and move it at least one meter uh, with wheels that allow for some smooth, playful movement. So the kids had a lot of fun doing this. I spoke with 13-year-old Chloe Wang about her design. Take a listen. I love this idea because it can help us understand the world a little bit better, and it can also help us like try to solve like solve big real-world issues. And we can learn like a lot about what's going on in the world. And I really like how we can have like a small impact in like helping. These things happen in life, and I feel like we need to know what's going on. Yeah, and thanks to Chloe for speaking with us. So again, uh, these kids have done such a great job. And if one of those uh, designs turns out to be successful, there is a potential um, idea of turning that design into um, reality and using a 3D printer to actually um, create that device. So really cool to talk with these kids. And uh, their last day of school is tomorrow. So they are ready to go, ready for summer. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I just love it. What a great job they're it's doing. Pretty neat. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie.